Hi guys, welcome back. So I'll show you guys how to play Arurian dance uh, from Nujabis or by Nujabis. So this is the standard tuning version. You don't have to tune a guitar to any sort of different tuning, which I uh, made a video previously because it's basically the uh, studio version. This one is entered in more of like a beginner approach. So uh, standard tuning, let's get started guys. So quick look at the right hand. I always say this at the very beginning your thumb will be plucking the top three strings so anytime i say pluck e a d thumb will do that index will pluck the g middle finger will pluck the b ring finger will pluck the high e string with that in mind i'll do this i'll do a slide from sixth fret to seventh fret of the g string then i'll play b7 and then i'll do a pull off from nine to seven on the high e string so we got you see my fingers? Now I'll have 4th fret barred with my index finger, my pinky on the high E string, 6th fret. I'll pluck the chord together like this, D, G, B and the high E string. If you can, you can do this blank. It's more of like that pluck, but I'm like plucking the strings one by one, but very quickly, which will be, which will give me sort of this effect. See that? So we got... Now I'll play D, G, E, B, G. <clears throat> so sorry. And then you hit the D string. So we got. Now I'll play third fret on the D string. Now I'll do a slide from the fourth fret of the high E string, ninth fret, and then sixth fret. So I'll just slide it up. And then I'll play 6th fret. So, ba -da -ba. repeat that one more time. After that, I'll do this. Have the same shape over here. So, I bought the 4th fret, 6th fret on the high E string. I'll pluck the D and the high E string together. And then I'll play the G string, then the B string, and the E string. So, we got. Now I go to this chord shape, I have B string 2nd fret, 3rd fret on D and G, pinky on the 4th fret of the high E string. Similar pattern, I'll plug the D and high E string together, then G, then B, then E. So it looks like an A minor chord, right? Uh, but it's just 1 fret up and then you have the pinky on the 4th fret of the high E string. So we got... And then I go to this chord shape, uh, over here I have 2nd frets on D and G, I got open B and I have high E string. Uh, second fret. So it's almost the same shape. I bring it a whole step down. And then I'll do this. I have E1. I got G1. So I'll pluck the D, G, B, high E string together. Then I'll play B, G, open D. So we got... Now for this we move on to the next part, it goes like this. I have 2nd fret on the top string, my ring finger will be on the E string, 4th fret, my middle finger on the G string, 3rd fret, my pinky finger on the B string, 4th fret. So we have, I'm playing E, A, G, B, G, A, E. So it goes down, then it goes up. So E, A, G, B, G, A, E. And then you play E string first fret. Then I'll do a slide from two to seven on that B string. And then we'll play sixth fret. So we got. After that, we'll stay on the F sharp um, shape and play the uh, shape, I think around eight times in the song. So it goes E, A, G, B, G, A, E, A, G, B, G, A, E, A, G, B, G, A. It goes, I think it goes A, E. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So E, A, G, B, G, A, E, E, A, G, B. A, E, E, A, G, B, G, A, E. Happens eight times and after that we just go back to the same thing. 
the intro thing so the intro thing is very important repeat goes i think it goes four times how much yeah last time now i'll do this so i'll have the shape i'll, I'll go d g b e d g b e then this shape uh, same shape what we had for the intro d g only the pattern change so we got d g b e d g b e then this shape d g b e d g b e then this shape d g b e d g b e and then this shape d g b e d g b e and let's play 11 fret on the high e string and i'll go back to the same thing so let's have a quick recap we got sorry back to the same thing i'll play the shape four times last time Now what we do is instead of playing that fourth shape, we'll now play the first shape, then the second shape, again the first shape, and then again the second shape. And then what we have, I think it goes to this. We have this thing for the outro, so I'm showing you guys how to play the outro. I hope you're done with the full song, so everything is cleared. The outro goes like goes like this. This is a minor six chord. I'm playing fourth fret on the top string. We got our fourth frets on G and B as well. Third fret on D string. I'm going E D G B, then B G, and then I'll slide my index, I'll push it over here to the fourth fret. So E D G B B G D, then I'll play. E D G B, so it's fourth fret bar, so everything is four. E D G B, and then I'll play sixth fret bar, so everything is six. E D G B, so we got E D G B, B G D, E D G B, E D G B, one two three four, four three two one two three four, one two three four. That's the end of the song. That's the whole song guys, I hope the video helps you out. Uh, do let me know how the video was, how the lesson was and if you want me to cover more easy Akira lessons like this, do subscribe, really means a lot. Really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me so far. So thanks for watching guys, bye.